Hey guys, I'm Tim Mahoney. I'm the head of research and development here at Duramax Center. Today we're going to talk about adding power to this 2020 L5P. <music> tuning is the best bang for the buck way to add power to your truck. When tuning these trucks, all we're doing is recalibrating the factory ECM. We're able to work with factory parameters and change those to what we would like. Specifically today, we're going to dive into fuel and air. Every truck has a certain amount of headroom with the turbocharger of how much air we can put into the motor. So now it's adding fuel. Given the factory calibration, there's a certain amount of air for a certain amount of fuel. What we can do is recalibrate, add more air to the truck by adding more fuel. So we just talked about recalibrating the ECM. A lot of what we can do is with fuel and air. So adding fuel, adding air. The factory turbocharger is only good for so much air, right? But how much fuel can we push that and find the limit of that? And that is what we're going to do here today. So one of the reasons why we're using the 2020 L5P today is we've been tuning these things for a while. Uh, we had our 17 in the shop. We had on the dyno from the day we could tune it when it was in beta testing with HP tuners. Now we got our 2020, got our, our unlocked 2020 ECM in here. We've been tuning these things for about eight months now, really comfortable with it, have back-to-back -back dyno pulls, good baselines. So we're able to dial in and get you guys comfortable here with, with a map that I think is, is easy to explain and easy to start with. And that's just our main injection pulse width map. So our pulse width map, correct? We have fuel pressure on our x-axis here, and we have fuel volume in MM3 on our y-axis. So you have at x and y, you get a certain pulse width. Pulse width is the amount or duration of the injection. What I mean by that is the injector opens and closes for a certain amount of time to spray fuel in the cylinder. And we can control that during time and for how long. What we are currently looking at is our stock pulse width table. A stock truck runs about 200 MPA and full fuel will be between 140 and 150 mm3. So we're gonna be right down here in between 1750 and 1500 US. Um, that's good on these trucks for about 390 to 410 uh, rear wheel horsepower. Um, a cap of what we don't like to go over, depending upon the injector and the type, um, LML is a little bit less, L5P we can go a little bit higher, same thing with the common stuff, is, is usually about 3,000, 3,200 US, you're in full-blown competition truck, um, you're really asking the most out of that injector. So the way the truck moves through this, what you would see as an Excel sheet, is more of just a, a diagonal line here. So. You're going to be idling somewhere around uh, typically between 8 and 12 mm3 um, with your fuel pressure, wherever that may be, um, you know, between 5 and 7,000 psi. Um, and then you have full, full fuel pressure out here. So you're going to kind of see this, this pathway the truck's going to take. Now, a lot of people will be, oh, I, I'm running 2,600 US. How much fuel are you running, right? Well, 2,600 US is only your maximum amount of fuel. That doesn't, that doesn't tell how much we're in in the transient stage in that part throttle stage. So that's where really the drivability and that stuff gets dialed in. So after we've determined our pulse width, right, we got to get it to the truck. And that's not just as simple as putting a number down here in the bottom corner and, and just saying, oh, the truck's going to make, make more power. We're putting more fuel in there. There's other factors that come into it. Uh, we have Lambda control, which we'll get into a bit later, and that's how much you know the air-fuel ratio mixture the truck's going to allow, and we can also optimize that. But to start, we're just going to basically get torque to fuel, or in the common stuff, you talk about pedal to torque. So you basically take that, that fuel volume, MM3, or fuel rate, um, and we're going to be 150 mm3 on a stock truck, about 1750 to 1580 pulse width there. And then you're going to get into where does that line up with what we're allowing the truck to make for torque. And torque on these trucks is just a reference of full load, essentially. So earlier we talked about efficiency and air fuel ratio, right? That's the balance that we got we to gotta work with here between the turbocharger and what, how much air we can bring in and the fuel and how much we can give it, right? So you have, you know, certain trucks are, oh, my turbocharger will support 600 horse, but I only have 550 horse worth of injector. L5P is a little bit different. We run out of turbo on an on, on efficient setup about 550 horsepower, but we have enough fuel to do about 700 horse. So this is where we really got to be careful. We add too much fuel, it's going to make a mess in the DPF. So we really got to use the factory systems and the air fuel ratio and, and really optimize that that AFR to, to get the power we want, but not push it too far where you're losing reliability, you're getting frequent regens and all that. 
I hope you guys learned something today. We got a lot more coming to you, a um, lot more diesel insights. We're going to talk about air fuel ratio in our next episode and a couple other things. Have some new product coming out for you. Want to talk to you guys about the Easy Link for the L5P. This is something we've been working and talking about for a long time. Um, really excited to get that out, get that out to the customer. We think it'll be a little bit easier of a solution, a um, little bit more cost effective too. So stay tuned, guys, and we appreciate you checking in. Oh, 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 o